Dialogue one. What did your parents look like when they were children? Mom, what did you look like when you were a child? Is it different from now? I think it's a bit different from now. Hmm, it's hard to imagine you when you were a child. Okay, I'll show you my photos of when I was a child. Oh my God, you look so beautiful, Mom. I see a pretty girl with long blonde hair. Yes, I used to have long blonde hair. Because of my cute appearance, people always think I'm gentle. On the contrary, I used to be ebullient, even mischievous. I remember me and my surrounding buddies always play hide and seek after we got home from school. But now you're gentle, <laughs> right? So when you were young, what did you like? When I was young, I loved to sing. After finished the class, I always went to the club and learned to sing. I used to join a band and got to perform in many places. How about you, Dad? Are you a bullyant like Mother? No, I used to be shy and bashful. I didn't like talking to strangers. So interesting. The parents' personalities are completely opposite. Yes, that's funny. Dialogue two: Dog and cat are our friends. This cat is so adorable. This cat is yours, isn't it? Yes, I just bought this cat last week when I passed the pet store. She's so cute that I had to buy it immediately. What is the name of the cat, Sarah? My cat is female, so I called Katie. Is a cat an easy to feed? Yes, she's obedient, but Katie is quite picky eaters. She doesn't really like cat food. She enjoys fish bone, rice, and tiny shrimp. Great! I also used to have a lovely pet. My dog's name is Cookie, but I lost him when we walked into the park. I'm sorry to hear that. Cookie was a special gift that my parents gave me at my birthday party. It is an exotic dog. Here's a photo of me with Cookie. Whoa, his white fur coat is stunning. Such a big, beautiful boy. Yes, he has a white, smooth fur as velvet. Cookie is a playful but smart, docile, and faithful dog. Did you often play with him? Yes, I always used to go for a walk with Cookie. But unfortunately, I can't do that anymore. Don't be sad. I think cookies will always remember you. Right? I always remember him. Dialogue three. What did John look like before? Jack? You are Jack? Yes, I am. Are you John? Yes. I'm really happy to see you here. We haven't seen each other for so long. Me too. You look so much prettier. <laughs> Thanks. And you look so different. I almost didn't realize you. <laughs> Everyone always says that. You look much more balanced and healthy than before. Right, as you know, I used to be fat and weak. Even I had an ant's face.
because I didn't exercise, ate fast food, ate midnight snacks, and also drank soft drinks. Whoa, how did you do it? I've been on a diet for a couple months now and incorporate a little exercise into my diet. And I not stay up late and drink enough water, up to 10 to 12 glasses. I even avoid caffeine. Great, I also want to look as healthy as you. Of course, I'll help you. Thanks. Dialogue 4. We used to be like that. Tony, look at the students on the football ground. I see. They look so energetic and healthy. Yeah, I used to enjoy playing football when I was a high school student. I was also very ebullient about participating in school sports and activities. So am I. I also enjoyed playing sports. Especially I like playing badminton. I used to join a club in university and won many awards. So cool. But now we don't have time to do anything. Because our job as accountant... Make we have a lot on our plate all the time. Right? My job always ends at 6 p.m. Sometimes I even had to work overtime until 10 o'clock at night. Well, the same things you do. After we finished work, I always rush to pick up my children and bathe them. I don't even have free time to hang out. This office work makes me really tired. Ah, uh, you know, we're not going to work on the occasion of International Labor Day. Yeah, great. Would you like to ask the boss to organize a football tournament? Great idea. I look forward to it. Dialogue 5 the new language will be gradually forgotten when you do not use it much. Lucy, could you help me? Of course, what's up? I have a French document that I need to translate, but no one at my company knows French. So I wanted to ask you for your help because I know your major was French when you studied it in university. Okay, let me see if I can. I will help you. I used to be fluent in French, but now I don't use French. So I forgot a lot of words. Oh no, how long haven't you used French? I used to use French two years ago. Why don't you use it anymore? Previously, I used to work in a company with mostly French partners, but now I've changed jobs. I don't know anyone who knows French except you. As you know, when you don't speak a second language much, you gradually forget about it. What a pity. Don't worry, let me see. Maybe I can help you. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. Are you studying? Yes, I study at the university. What's your major? I'm studying marketing. When will you graduate? I will graduate next semester. Will you continue to study for your master's degree? No, not yet. What will you do after you graduate? I'm still not sure. Mm, it depends. Depends on what? Does it depends on what kinds of job offers I get? What do you mean? 
If I get a job that provides an opportunity, I'll take it. What other jobs have you applied for? I've made many applications to all kinds of companies. What kinds of companies did you apply to? Hotels, factories, import companies. What if you get a job far away from home? I'd rather stay close to my family. What will you do if you cannot find a job? If I can't find a job, I will stay in school and study for a master's degree. A master's degree in what faculty? Hmm, I'll have to think about it. Let's get out of the city this weekend. That's a good idea. I'm getting sick of being here. Do you want to go to the beach? We always go to the beach. Let's do something different. How about camping? Camping? That sounds terrific. All my ideas are terrific. Do you have a tent? No. Do you? No, but. I can borrow a large one from my friend. How about a sleeping bag? Yes, I have a sleeping bag. Do you have one? No, I don't. Do you want to share one with me? No, thanks. I'll buy a new sleeping bag. Do you think we should go far, far away? How much time do you have? I can leave Friday after work. I can leave Friday too. When will we have to be back? I have to be back by Sunday. We'll be back by Sunday. What should we do while we're there? Do you want to go hiking? Hiking? Hmm. Okay. But we shouldn't go too far from the campground. If we stay around the campground, will you bring the barbecue? Of course. Will you make hamburgers? Sure, I'll make hamburgers. Should we invite some friends? Great idea. Let's invite all of our friends. This is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Have you ever traveled abroad? Yes, I have. In fact, I was born abroad. You were born abroad. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. It's true. Do you speak Korean? No, I don't. I left when I was young. How old were you? I was nine. You were nine years old, and you don't speak Korean. No, I was nine months old. What other countries have you been to? I went to Mexico. How was that? It was great. What did you like the best? The rules were really interesting. Anything else you like? The beaches were nice. Where else have you been? I lived in London for one year. Really? How was that? I was only eight years old. You were eight years old. What were you doing there? I went there with my mother. She was working there. Of all the countries you've been to, which is your favorite country? Vietnam. Why do you like Vietnam? 
I love Vietnam because the food is delicious and the people are very friendly. Hi, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to buy a washing machine. Which brand would you like? I don't care so much about brands. What are you looking for? I'm looking for your good price and good functions. Function and price are important to you. That's right. First, may I ask you, what size washer do you need? What do you mean by what size washer? Well, like a small size is 4 kilograms. And a large size is 8 kilograms. Do you have a medium size? Sure, the medium size is 6 kilograms. I think I want a medium size. All right, and do you want a one bin or two bin washer? What's the difference between one bin and two bin? With a two bin washer, you have to move the clothes to the spinner yourself. And the one bin? It does it automatically. It's a two in one spin bin. I understand. Which one cleans better? They clean the same. Really? And do they cost the same? The one bin washer is more expensive, but it's simple to use. Simple is important. I think I'd like the one bin washer. You know, if you like things simple and easy, may I suggest to you the fuzzy logic function? What is fuzzy logic? Fuzzy logic is a special function. It makes using the washer easier. How does the function work? You put in your clothes, you put in the soap, and the washer does the rest. Sounds perfect. This is exactly the kind of washing machine I've been looking for.